I am not kidding. I was electrocuted. I got hit in the face. I fell going up the steps. How do you fall going up the steps? Hi guys, Anne here and today we have another car vlog. So I am testing out this microphone. I had this microphone maybe like over a year and I forgot that I had it and I forgot to use it. It's one of these cheap ones. I think I paid like maybe 10 bucks, 20 bucks the most on Amazon. So I'm testing it out because you guys know the last vlog, oh my goodness, I'm so embarrassed. I almost did not upload it because it was raining so hard and I was also using my old phone. You could hardly hear me. And I was like, should I upload it? Should I not? What should I do? And I'm like, I'm just gonna upload it. So that's why I'm testing this out to see how it works, if it makes a difference, if it doesn't. I mean, I guess it's better to test it when it's raining, but at least we could see the sound quality, if it even makes a difference. I don't even know if the thing still works because I had it all bundled up, you know? I'm on my way to Rite Aid to get my medicine for when I went to my doctor's. I never picked up my medicine because a couple of them they had to order. So, oh, there's a line. I have to tell you how my day went yesterday. I am not kidding. I was electrocuted. I got hit in the face. I fell going up the steps. How do you fall going up the steps? Let me start with this, okay? Yesterday was a beautiful day. It was like 70 degrees. I woke up and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's beautiful. And you know, I've, I've told you I've been going through like depression and um, things like that. And But it was so nice out. I was like, like I, I don't know, something just snapped on me. I felt really good. So I go outside. So you know, we have three dogs and in our backyard, we have like a fence, but it doesn't cover the whole yard because where I live, there is like a little alley that you go back and everybody can park who has a house back there so that we have enough room to park and stuff. Anyway, so, you know, we just let our three dogs out to go to the bathroom. Because we have three dogs, you have to clean up that yard every day. And, I mean, you, you just have to because if they poop a couple times a day with three dogs, like, you have to. So, when it's nighttime, I'm telling you all this for a reason. So, when it's nighttime, of course, I don't clean it up. You know, I just wait until the morning. So, I had my morning coffee. I'm like, it's beautiful. Let me rake up the yard. Let me clean it up. You know, everything was going good. I thought, I'm going to start cleaning the house. I washed all the towels, everything. Like, I, I, I deep cleaned the kitchen. I deep cleaned the bathroom where I was literally on my hands and knees. And I had, like, Q-tips that I was cleaning all the cor corners out, like... I mean, it was that day. I'm like, oh, I feel great. I haven't felt this good. I had this much energy in such a long time. Okay. Now, Lexi had off work. Now, when it was Christmas time, you guys know I didn't get a tree for like three years, right? I finally got a tree. I got the uh, green tree. It's a fake tree and it had that white stuff on it. Well, I did not realize how messy it is. Okay. So when I was putting the tree together, you know, the white stuff was falling off. And so I had the vacuum in and I had it plugged in and I was still putting it up and I was kind of vacuuming. I was going along. Well, the puppy at the time was what, six months old and she was still chewing things. And as I looked, she was chewing on the damn cord and I got her, I got, I was able to get her off of it before she chewed the whole thing, you know, completely off. Right. So I was able to like wrap it up and like the vacuum still worked. Thank God she didn't electrocute herself. Right. Cause it was plugged in. But as time goes on, you know, like the, you, now you got to hold, hold the cord where the tape is. Otherwise the thing, the vacuum won't turn on. Okay. So Lexi was like, mommy, the vacuum won't work. And I said, well, cause she was cleaning her room. And I said, well, you got to hold the things together. And it wasn't working. I said, well, let me go get the electrical tape. Because at that time I just put like painter's tape, like the blue painter's tape over it. So like I undid everything. I'm doing the electrical tape and I'm like holding the wire together as I'm doing the electrical tape. I don't know why Lexi plugs it in and like turns it, puts her foot on the thing to turn it on to see if it were. I, I don't know why. Maybe she thought I was, I have no idea. And it shocked me. All of a sudden you hear this big pop. You see this big, like, 
not fire, but this big like thing and it's short circuit, you know, and my whole hand right here was black. Now I, it didn't burn me or anything like that, but it was black. And when I tell you it hurt, I felt it all up my arm. It scared me where like I almost cried cause it scared me. So now the vacuum is done. So I have to go get a vacuum. <laughs> I'm like, Lexi, but she was like, mommy. I mean, it's scared her because you seen it like just, it, it was scary. So I got electrocuted <laughs> and you know, I'm dramatic. So I'm like, I almost died. <laughs> oh God, that was scary. Then you see right here, I got hit in the face by my dog, by or the puppy in three days. She'll be in a couple days, the 28th, I believe she'll be uh, nine months old, 26th or 28th. I can't remember. And, uh, she has this chewing bone and it's like pretty long, you know, and I just was laying my head to her while she was chewing it, you know, and as I did, she picked her head up with the bone and the bone hit me right here. <laughs> that hurt. Gave me a headache. We're not done. This is all one day. So then maybe about an hour later, like I'm cleaning the banister, you know, off and everything going in between like the banister and stuff. So I go up the steps and I fell. I don't know how I fell, but I like slid all the way down. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Like I couldn't even stop myself because it was happening so fast. Thank God I didn't have like the mop, the bucket in my hand. I would have been pissed, but I was like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> Do you ever fall or something happen and you know what's happening? You, there's nothing you can do and you're like, what's happening? Oh my God, I hurt my knee. <sighs> yeah. And then after all that, because I, 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 I don't know, then I edited my video. I put up a video yesterday that my Slay Glam Box on my main channel and I didn't start cooking dinner till 830 at night. So the kids and stuff did not eat dinner till like 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> now, you know, they're older, so... But it was a day yesterday. Do you ever just have those days that are just, you, you think it's going to be great? And it, it, I don't know. I don't know what happened. But it just was bad. Um, and then today, it's only 50 out. So I was like, dang, because I wanted to walk and do all this. But I just felt so good and had so much energy. I just felt like deep cleaning stuff, you know. I washed all the dog's blankets, you know, all that kind of stuff. So... I told the kids this week and I want to paint because, you know, I start uh, painting like the downstairs and stuff like that. And then I just got in this like depression and I stopped fixing the house up. So now I want to do the bathroom and I think I want to paint the bathroom, do it turquoise and black. Like the fixtures, I'm going to change the fixtures out and have black. I don't know. But that was my day yesterday. How was yours? I had one of my friends um, in the state she lives in said that they got three feet of snow. I was like, holy crap. It was like 70 out. Beautiful for Jersey. And now it's back in the 50s again for like another week. All right. I'm going to get off of here uh, and uh, wait to get my medicine because I don't know how long this is going to be. I'll be back. Yes. I'm hoping that you find your way. Them niggas never swim the Do you have the Ozempic? Is that in there? All right. That was a shit show. Let me turn the car off. So they gave me three bags and then this medicine here. So let's see everything that we have. Okay. This is the uh, Facepia or this is the generic um right here. I don't know why it always gets blurry, but this is basically fish oil pills. Um, Facepa. And I take two capsules twice a day. This is really, really good. Um, we'll see how much everything costs. I don't even know if she gave me a thing. Okay. I got my Lacetopril. Oh, another, I guess they gave me, I don't know. They gave me two of the Facepas. Three, maybe they gave me a 90 day supply. What in the world? Three bottles of this. All right, let me get my change. Actor, I don't know what that is. And Zatia. Then we have, I don't know, I'm missing medicine. 
left. I don't have my insulin, um, which that'll come tomorrow. But that Ozempic, first of all, I am so mad because it's always it's on back order. So let me explain to you what this medication is and what is going on. And I did not realize that's what it was. There's a medicine, it's Saxenda, which um, I used to take before, and Ozempic, okay? Ozempic is what I'm gonna be taking now. And it's like a pen that you like put it in your stomach. Now, it is for somebody who has diabetes, right? And it's for if you are in insulin resistance, is which I'm in. Also, um, if you're un I'm uncontrolled, um, right now what they consider me is uncontrolled sh sugars, uncontrolled di you know, diabetes. And just short, there's more to it, but just for a little bit so that you guys can kind of understand. Um, a lot of times your body, when your sugars are very high or uncontrolled or you're in insulin resistance, you know, a lot of times your mind, your body, your, your brain is saying you're hungry and you're constantly hungry and you're eating. So what this does, it kind of like stops, does something to your brain to say, I'm full, I'm not hungry. So that's what it's for. Um, I know the Saxenda also can be prescribed for binge eating. I don't know about the Ozempic, but definitely the Saxenda, okay? But it's mainly for uh, people with diabetes. Now, the celebrities and all this, what's going on now, this is what they're doing to lose weight. And they're getting it under the table. In other words, like... You know how I went to the doctors and they gave me a, a one of the Ozempics, you know, and that's what they're doing. Doctors are pushing it out um, to lose weight. That's how Kim Kardashian and a lot of these celebrities. You, I, you even see YouTubers pushing it out where they're the company's sending it to them. You're not even getting a prescription for it. And that's what people are doing to lose weight now. The problem is because people are doing it and getting it, okay, and doctors are, and also doctors are prescribing it for that. People like me that need it, you can't get it. It's on back order. So I, that won't come till Monday. But thank God the doctor did give me one already. So that'll last me. Like I'll have enough to Monday. But what if I didn't? It's crazy to me, the lengths. This is what, in, in my last video, where the quality was bad, what I was saying, how these influencers and stuff push this stuff, push just how you have to look. This is easy way. Take this and you'll lose weight because they're getting paid to push it, right? Or they're taking it for easy way out. I am so upset over this that it's like people like me or other people that truly need it, you can't get it. All right, enough about that. Um, I'll go home and I'll figure out all my medications and what I didn't get and what I did get. I have a few errands to run today. I need to go to Walmart. When do I not have to go to Walmart? Um, I got to get Bella more of her food. What else? Really, that's it. I'm going to stop now and get a salad. I'm craving a salad. I ran out of lettuce at my house because, you know, I've been really into salads lately. But I don't feel like going to shop right. It's going to be crowded just to get lettuce and stuff. So, that's what I'm going to do. I have something so cute to tell you. Oh, my God. It's going to melt my heart. So, my daughter... She always FaceTimes me and stuff. So she had yesterday and today off. And uh, she called me earlier, but I was in the shower. So I call her back, and she was over her boyfriend's house. And she answers the phone, and she has a face mask on, and she put, and her boyfriend has a face mask on. <laughs> she makes her uh, boyfriend do skincare with him. And he's, like, very boyish. You know what I mean? Like, I'm shocked that he did it, you know, and I think, oh, that's so cute. It was adorable, you know, I, I, I love to see that. I really, really do. Lexi's so funny. You know, I, you know, I only have one biological daughter, right? I say that because I have a stepdaughter as well. Now, my stepdaughter, she's in college and she is more for studies, not like boy crazy, not like my daughter is. Do you know what I mean? Where Lexi's like, you know, different. 
And I've always taught Lexi, never take no shit from no man, right? And I would always tell her, like, look what happened to me. I have three kids by three different men. And, you know, they all say they love you and all that. And you get pregnant. And I always taught her, mama's baby, papa's maybe. You know, a man can get up, brush their pants off and walk away. A woman is stuck with the child, you know? And when Lexi was maybe, Lexi was in either first or second grade, and I remember Lexi came home crying, and she would get bullied because they would say she had big lips or talk about her hair. Um, and I used to say, Lexi, people pay to have your lips. You know, Lexi has be Lexi's beautiful. I used to always, Lexi had ADHD where she had to be medicated and stuff. You know, Lexi is very loud. And, you know, when you're a kid, it could be annoying. And, and people, she couldn't make friends, you know. Uh, nobody wanted to sit next to her because she was just loud and hyper. And anyway, Lexi's the type of person, like, even on her off days, she's up by 6, 7 o'clock, like, <laughs> cleaning her room. And, like, I have to say, like, Lexi, will you <laughs> lower your voice? Or, like, it's early in the morning and you're vacuuming. That Lexi's always been like that. And then she's in the bed by 10, 11 o'clock, you know what I mean, at night. Like, you know. Um, and Lexi's always been like, she's always in a good mood. Always, you know. I mean, she wakes up like, hi, you know. Anyway, so I, I, I get off track. But anyway, so like I always told her, like, don't ever put up with the man stuff. And she took that literally. Like, I hear her cussing these guys out or she just don't take no shit. She breaks up with them. And then before you know, it, she has another boyfriend. <laughs> And I'm like, and it, her self-confidence is up like this. Because I used to always say how beautiful you are. And like, you're so beautiful, Lexi. You're so, you know. And I just built her self-esteem up to where <laughs> it's up there. And I'm glad. I am so glad that she's like that. I wish I was like that when I was her age. Um, but it's adorable. It is. She's very loving, but she don't take no stuff. And I, I, I love, I love that she's like that, you know. She told me the other day, she goes, Mommy, I don't think I'm going to have any kids. She said that always because she said, I said, why? She goes, because they're brats. And I'm like, well, it's different when it's your own, you know. You have more patience and stuff. But she was like, Mommy, I don't think I'm going to have any kids. I said, what, well, Lexi, you're only 22. You know, when you find a guy that you love and you get married, you never know what's going to happen. Um, but I've always told her, because all her friends have kids, and I've always told her, like, the guys, they, they go away. Yeah, they, they're all in love. And men are always good. The, everybody's always on their best behavior the first three months, right? Um, Can I get a Parmesan Caesar chicken salad? Okay. And that's it? Thank you. Holy crap. All I got, nothing to drink, anything. I have my water, just a salad. $8.20. I know. Here I go complaining again. <laughs> but I, I, I just can't get over it. All right. I'm going to pull over and eat this really, really quick. But really, but let me finish with Lexi before I forget. Um, I just thought that was adorable. You know, what 22-year-old guy, like, you know, it, it's just cute. I, I, I don't know. I just thought it was so cute. That just made me smile. Like, they're both, like, on the, their face mask. Because I always give her, like, all the extra stuff that I have, you know. She's like, all right, mommy, you know, I was just checking on her. And then she was like, I'm getting ready to get, um, give him a, a foot mask or something. She like, okay, do you. Get my hand sanitizer. I am going to take some of my medicine now. That's why I got something to eat too. Oh, um, a couple of you guys asked me where I got my mask, the butterfly mask. I got these on Amazon. I always get my face mask on Amazon. So that's what it looks like. It just has like chicken. I'll show you. So like a chicken Caesar salad. All right, let me take my medicine real quick. I'm gonna take my lisinopril, and when I go into Walmart, I'll also check my um, my blood pressure. So it says take two capsules. So let me take two of these. They must have gave me a 90 day supply. Th these fish oil pills, I'll show you what they look like. They're very, very good. I know it's ex these are expensive. A lot of insurances sometimes don't cover it. Um, but this is what it looks like. Just like a gel pill. Oh, they 
stink. So my Lysidopril is 40 milligrams, which I think they're going to have to. They, they also gave me another thing that's at home to take. And then this is like a Caesar dressing, but I only put very little on. I kind of eat my salads almost plain now. Um, Caesar dressing, which I love, has a lot of potassium in it. And oh, I don't have a fork. All right, I'll be back. Let me go in there and... Um, Oh, my little thing the sponge thing's missing all right let me go back and get me uh, uh the fork i'll be back all right i got me some napkins i got a fork let me get the hand sanitizer again okay i don't have the microphone plugged in it's because i'm eating and i don't want it to be too loud while you can hear me chewing you know all right what did i do with the Say, I hardly use any. Um, all right, let me eat some. Then I have to tell you a few things that's been happening in my life as well. If somebody said you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? I would definitely say salad. Definitely hands down. I mean, as long as I had like, I don't want just lettuce. You know what I mean? I have some meat and cheese and different things in it. Oh, I'll be good to go. This, of course, don't have cheese in it. But my favorite salad is uh, chicken Caesar salad. What is your favorite salad if you like it? Is it like chef salad? Like, what, what is it? I love chicken Caesar salad. All right, I'm going to eat this and come back. Because I don't want to be rude and eat while I'm, you know, talking while I eat. I'm all over the place today. I'm telling you. <laughs> Yesterday was like so crazy. Oh, I dyed my hair. Uh, so it's a little dark. I even dyed my eyebrows. A little dark, but that'll fade. So at least I did accomplish that yesterday. Before all the shenanigans. Cannot believe I got electrocuted. All right. I'll be back. <laughs> all right. I ate most of it, but... That one shot, I will say that it was epic really does work because I, I get full a lot quicker you have to take it with food it's only a once a day well once mine is once a week when i used to take the saxenda um that was once a day this is once a week let's put some this is the lunar beauty um you know the manny mua this is his lip oil if you have not tried his lip oils they are amazing they really are i think they're 18 dollars they feel really nice on the lips. Now, do they last? I mean, it's a lip oil. They don't last like for hours, of course, but it really is a good lip oil. All right. I'm going to uh, plug this microphone back in and stuff, so I'll be right back. Let me know about the sound. Is the sound better with the microphone? Uh, you know, or is it the same? I Like I said, I know we really can't test it out till it's raining because that was horrible. One, one, it was my old phone. The beep is because it's telling me like a car is coming. Um, so I know that had a lot to do with it. However, the, the rain and stuff and... You know, when you're filming, you can hear the rain, but you don't realize how bad it is or the sound quality until you're editing. You know what I'm saying? So I, when I start editing, I was like, oh my God, I wasn't even going to put it up. But I told you, 2023, uh, you know, unless you couldn't hear me at all. Um, but yeah. And it was a good message. I wanted to share that message. What the hell is this person doing? Can you move so I can get by? You know what I'm saying? I thought it was a really good message, uh, you know, to like, we don't always have to wear makeup. We don't, you know, if you're film, if you're a content creator, don't be pressured by social media that you have to look a certain way. You know what I mean? Like, don't, you know, or, or you have to have the body shape or the certain, no, I mean, look, 
I bring up the Kardashians a lot, but it's true. So what? For how many years now they, they, they brought out, you know, like having big butts and big boobs, like, you know, a, a curvy bodies. And now it's all skinny. They should, they stop getting shots up their butt. They, they took their breast implants out. Khloe Kardashian, Kim Kardashian. And now they're doing this skinny, um, thing. It's like all a fad, you know? Well, what happened to promoting the curvy girls, you know? The thick girls like uh, like me, you know? Like, what happened to that? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So that's what I, I, I'm saying, like... I truly believe God made made everybody how he wanted them to be made. You are perfect the way you are. I mean, listen, if you want to enhance your looks or if you, you have an insecurity about something, absolutely get it done. If you have the means, if you have the money, you're insecure. But do it for the right reasons. Don't do it because that's what you want to be like everybody else. Don't do that, you know, because I think you're beautiful just the way that you are. And that's the truth, you know. I mean, if I had the money, I would get a tummy tuck. <laughs> Uh, there was, there are certain things I would do, you know, absolutely I would do, you know, and there's nothing wrong with it because it's just an insecurity that I have, but I don't, I wouldn't do it because it's like, oh, I need to be skinny to fit in, you know? Now, if I was a, a, in my teenager, in my twenties, maybe I would have felt like that. Thank God I am old enough, but it's just sad, you know, like, and I'm bringing this up again because I'm getting pissed off again, thinking about now they're putting these things that you stick in your body to lose weight when it, it's not even for that like okay I'm gonna get off of that because I'll, I'll get I'll go on another rant all right so I'm getting ready to go into Walmart uh so I'll see you when I get there all right just got here I'm getting ready to go inside and I'll check my blood pressure and all that then I think I might go in the dollar store I haven't been in the dollar store for a while I don't know do you ever get like that? Just those days, it's like, I don't know, I just wanted to get out of the house, but I really have nothing to do. <laughs> so it's like, well, what do I do? And it's past a certain time to actually go for a ride and go traveling somewhere, like down the shore if I went to Atlantic City or Ocean City or something like that. It's getting kind of late, right? So it's like, all right, so what do we do? <laughs> you know, and I don't really want to go into the mall. If I was going to go to the mall, I would have had my selfie stick. Um... Maybe I'll do that tomorrow because I, I, I want to start filming like every day, even if it's just like little vlogs like this, where I'm I, even if they're just 15 minute vlogs, I, mean, I don't know how long this vlog will be, but I'm just saying like if I just go to the mall or here or there, you know, that way I have some kind of content out, um, you know, in case you're bored or something like that. But all right, let me go in here and see what they got. You know, it's the weirdest thing. I just had to, like, vlog this. Yesterday was 70 degrees out. Today, it is, like, cold. I should have brought, like, a thicker, like, a jacket or something. Isn't that crazy? All right, I'll see when I get inside. All righty, let's see. Let me put my arm in and then hit go. What in the? At least my pulse is okay. I do not know what is going on with my blood pressure. Like, what is going on? All right, I need to find. Ibuprofen. Let me find that. Really quickly, look, these were a dollar. I got a couple of shirts. I had a cart full of stuff that's a dollar. I don't think my kids will like this. They don't wear stuff like this, but for a dollar? Come on. And then I don't know. It's like a regular, like a stretchy shirt. They could wear that to bed at least. Can I get the generic kind? Because they work just as good, but I like the gel ones. Where's the gel? Just get these for now. 
This is what I like, the, the gel. They work better. All right. Put this back. All right, of course I forgot my bags and I refuse to buy any more, but this is all that I got. Please let me have some bags. No! Oh wait, there's one bag. All right, let me uh, fill this up and I'll be back when I get in the car. All right, let me get my receipt. I think I spent about 140 in there. Uh, I spent 131.63. I don't know why I always try to show you this because it always comes up blurry. I don't know. Anyway, so we got that. I was going to go to Home Depot or Lowe's, one of them. I was going to get like some sample paints um, for the bathroom, for the upstairs bathroom, but I'm starting to feel like very nauseous and I'm getting a headache. So I'm just going to go ahead and go home. So I'll be vlogging tomorrow. We'll go to Home Depot, pick out some uh, paint colors. Let me know down below what is a good color to paint the bathroom because right now everything's white. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think and then um, I'll read them and then like I said I'll get like maybe four or five like little sample colors and we'll do how I did before in the living room where I would like you know show you the samples and then we decide like what color but I'm going to get off of here I'm going to go home and um I just feel nauseous. All right, guys, please like this video. It really does help me out or dislike it. That helps me out as well. Leave a comment. Let me know how, I don't have the microphone plugged in right now, but let me know how that works. Do you hear me a little bit better? Or you really can't tell. I'll definitely test it out the next time it rains, but that's everything. All right, guys, stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy. And most importantly, always stay you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.